So Bishop Zondo has gone back to court. But I remembered that there was a message that someone once sent me, you know. And I wanted to review that message when Bishop Zondo visited this church here. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if this church is St. John or what's going on. But he says some pretty weird things when he was over there. It's the reality show. The Daily Christian Commentary videos. If it's the first time over here, you be sure to check out some of the videos that are down in the pin comments. And I'm going to check you out over there. And so let's go over, listen to Bishop Zondo and what you are saying to this church here. But God help us. Let me help this young man know that this world, it's not his parents' house. Plus, I think, I don't remember, I think it was a funeral. You'll tell me if you do know, I, I can't remember exactly. That even the one who is who is sitting in front of, it's not the one. Yeah. I must believe in the faithfulness of God, even in bad situations. Mustn't be taken over by the preachings of pastors. They can be liars. Interesting. He knows. He knows these things are. Oh, okay. Then he says, I have prayed. That's my prayer. He does his usual introduction. My name is Zondo. I live in Everton between small farm and orange farm. I'm so shocked to be among the shops. Uh, if this pulpit was a little bit elevated, to be away from them, I will tell you the reason why. So he says, saying Paul, so this church, now sudden, this church is that he's talking about. They do a lot of like water things and what, what. And all. So he says, no, this church has done a lot for him. Oh, 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 okay. I, I'm, I don't know what the, what. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Let's let him. You don't know what St. Paul has done for me. Oh, he told you. Did he tell you? Mm. <laughs> you are here to, to bury a person who's, who didn't die today. You are going to bury somebody okay. who didn't he die today. I ask God to let me not speak the secrets and mysteries. But you are the reason why I had to come here. Because I need to clothe you and guide you. Or I need that today. I must circumcise you. Because the force thing that I need to remove away from you so that you don't go around corrupting the church in Everton. Don't what is he talking about? Like that there is something that he needs to remove from this person. He, he needs to circumcise him. And then he's, he, he's hoping that God doesn't make him speak secrets. What are you talking about, man? Don't forget that I'm Zondo. I come from Everton. Before I greet people, I need to tell you this so that you hear it. One bishop said here that this is the church that Jesus has bought with his own blood. Okay, that statement, it meant the global church. 
not a certain church. So when he's saying that about this, okay. You must know that as a passport, this is not a passport to wealth to be a pastor or a bishop. Don't worry, I'm going to tell you sweet and good. So then it goes back into things. So this message is very weird. Um, I don't know if he spoke consciously <laughs> because it's the most chilling and weird message. This is the video right here. So as I'm saying that, I don't know if this was at a funeral. You can see what the title is or what is going. He has to clothe him, he's there to circumcise him, he's there to re remove this jacket so that he doesn't bring things from outside. What is he talking about? He's sounding like there's like a cult thing and then he has to remove which is what cult people do. So, and then he says, he's open that he doesn't have to speak secrets. This is why I, I said I don't trust Zondo with the Bible. It's not personal for me. My issue is that the man does not sound biblical. And this is clear proof of it. Maybe I'm not hearing it properly. You can tell me down in the comment section. This is just off.